Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 11 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 11 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this video is specifically dedicated to power supply. It's one of the uh, quickest and simplest videos in our series. Uh, in the DL380 Gen 11 server, there are five different sizes of power supplies. Three of them are gonna be 800 watt. You're gonna have your 800 watt platinum, universal, and titanium. You're gonna also have a 1600 watt platinum and a 1800 watt to 2200 watt titanium. And what's really important here that you need to note is the voltage. Uh, the voltage is not the same on all of them. And in fact, only one of them has voltage that's gonna be 100 to 240 volt, and that's gonna be your 800 watt platinum. And this is really important because a lot of data centers don't have a 240 volt hookup or a 220 volt hookup. Um, and if you're at your house, you most likely definitely don't have that there. Um, you can get one put in. You might have to call an electrician to do it, but that's just not your normal standard plug-in. Um, so I just wanted to note that and we'll list the rest of the voltages on there. Uh, but platinum is the main power supply that you should be using if you do not have a uh, 200 to 240 volt connection. So that's one of the main things I wanted to point out for the power supply video. So, all right, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my ESD gear, uh, come back and show you physically how to install the power supplies, which is super easy because they're hot swap. All right, I have my ESD gear on. We're safe to work on our machine. So let's say we wanted to remove a bad power supply or we wanted to upgrade a power supply and we'll show you how to do both. So right now what we're gonna do first is upgrade the power supply. So all we're gonna do is just remove this to start. So this is just a blank. Uh, these are good and you want them if you only have one power supply because you don't want uh, dirt or debris or poor airflow. Uh, this will uh, definitely hurt with your thermals. So just make sure that you do at least have a blank in there. Uh, but if you wanted to upgrade, you simply just get another power supply and you need to make sure it is the exact same power supply. You cannot mix uh, an 800 watt titanium with an 800 watt platinum or an 800 watt platinum with a 1600 watt uh, just doesn't work. You have to make sure it's the exact same power supply. So that is one of the keys. Um, and then it's really simple to put these in. You're literally just going to slide this in. It's gonna to get to a point where it will, you'll see this will come in and it clicks into place. If I tried to pull this out right now, I physically can't, it's locked in. Now, this is where if you wanted to remove it, it's very easy. You just push this in and pull this out at the same time and it comes right out. So it's very easy and it will just click it back into place. I'll do that one more time and just push this and just pull it right out. So uh, upgrading or adding one of these is very simple. I definitely recommend having redundant power supplies as well. It's a cheap investment overall uh, to just make sure that you don't have any downtime. So that's one thing that I do highly recommend. Or if you have a bunch of them uh, in stock and you're you know running a data center, at least have a few spares so that if one goes down, you can just pop another one in right away and you don't have any real downtime. And if you do need any power supplies, uh, this is something that we can overnight and we can support. Uh, please email us at sales at cloud ninjas.com at sales at cloud And if you're looking Looking for any custom built HPE, Dell, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco. Uh, we do new and we do use, and we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs business. So please reach out to sales at cloudnews.com. If you made it this far, click that like, smash that subscribe. Thanks for stopping by, guys.